scientists have genetically modified a plant related to tobacco to make cocaine. Scientists from China reported that they modified it genetically. A plant relative of tobacco called Nicotiana benthamiana produces cocaine in its leaves. The team of researchers stated that they managed to get to know and how does a cocaine bush produce cocaine and they recreated this process in another plant. Cocaine is better known as a drug or stimulant, but it also has potential in medicine. Back in the 19th century, it was used as a remedy anesthetic, and its properties are beginning to be appreciated again. Scientists have been trying to develop a fast and fast method for years cheap cocaine synthesis. They seem to have succeeded in the end. Scholars from China they claim to have determined how the common dwarf tree, also known as the shrub, was cocaine, Erythroxylum coca, produces cocaine in its leaves. Poznani researchers recreated the cocaine biosynthesis pathway in another modified plant or relative of tobacco, Nicotiana benthamiana. Description and research results of scientists from the Kunming Institute of Bodens in China were published in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. Cocaine naturally occurring in the common redwood is a tropan alkaloid that acts as a short-lived stimulant central nervous system and local anesthetic. Cocaine more it is known as a drug, but it also has properties that they are interested in scientists. For example, in the 19th century the stimulant was successfully used as an anesthetic or to constrict blood vessels for the purpose of stop bleeding. Recently, the US Food and Drug Administration they, FDA, approved the use of cocaine as a local anesthetic mucous membranes. Scientists have been trying to determine how for decades the cocaine bush produces cocaine. This is a complex biochemical matter and although researchers mapped most of the processes taking place in plants and escaped them the key element, how exactly the chemical precursor called MPOA is converted into cocaine. Scientists focused on MPOA because of the same precursor a similar tropan alkaloid called hyacyamine is formed. In the synthesis of hyacyamine MPOA is being converted into MMPO leading scholars to conclude that this the trail itself must be involved in cocaine production. However, in new research researchers in China have found that MMPO is not involved in cocaine production. Instead, MPOA is converted to cocaine by the activity of two enzymes called ENCYP81A and 15 and ENMT4. To prove this, Scientists genetically modified the plant Nicotiana benthamiana to make these two enzymes. Nicotian benthamiana contains substances similar to MPOA, which is why it was selected for testing. Modifications led to the synthesis of cocaine in the plant's leaves. And though a relative of tobacco gave a paltry but still exciting 400 nanograms of cocaine per a milligram of dried leaves, or about 1 25th of the yield of an average plant coca, the fact that the cocaine biosynthesis pathway has been known opens up the possibility of mass production of substances in other organisms, such as E. bacteria. Coli. Scientists reassure us that their breakthrough will not cause them to appear huge amounts of the drug in cities. It probably won't affect at all on the availability of the drug because the process of genetically changing another plant or bacteria to synthesize the drug goes far beyond even the possibilities the most sophisticated drug cartels. At least that's what they think scientists. Moreover, they emphasize that their research was not aimed at development methods of producing cocaine for recreational purposes, but for applications medical. My most important motivation to resolve the issue there was scientific curiosity about cocaine biosynthesis. Now it will be possible to construct various cocaine analogs for drug discovery. However, we do not know whether we will succeed get stimulants that will have 
reduced psychoactive properties said Dr. Shen Xiong Huang, lead author of the study.